Let me direct this Jake Peterman catalog. Uh, get this one. I pack my rod and reel. 30 hours later, lost in the fjord. A welcoming smile. Thank God she spotted the epaulets on my Norwegian ice fishing vest. <laughs> It was all about how to score in a foreign country. How do you do all that? Not that much. Uh -huh. I thought that new promotion was supposed to be a lot more work. Yeah, when the season starts. Right now I sit around pretending that I'm busy. How do you pull that off? I always look annoyed. <laughs> when you look annoyed all the time, people think that you're busy. <laughs> think about it. <laughs> Mr. Wilhelm gave me one of those little stress dolls. <laughs> All right. Back to work. <laughs> so did you come up with a little stupid story for the Himalayan walking shoe yet? Yeah, completely blocked. In fact, I'm going to work on it tonight. Oh. oh, no. Oh, I can't. I got that marathon runner coming in tonight. What marathon runner? You know, this guy, Jean-Paul, Jean-Paul. I met him when I was working at Pendant, editing a book on running. Oh, wait, Jean-Paul, Jean-Paul! Isn't he the guy you overslept at the Olympics four years ago, missed the marathon? Yeah, that's him. He's from uh, Trinidad and Tobago, right? Yeah, yeah, he's Trinidadian and Tobagan. <laughs> Oversleep at the Olympics. Oh, I know, I know. I mean, it's like the biggest event of your life. You, you think you'd have like six alarm clocks paying off little kids in the village to come banging on your door? I know. Well, he was pretty devastated. I mean, this is his first race in three years. Yeah. Yeah, that's a big responsibility on your hands. What responsibility? I don't have any responsibility. Well, you gotta wake him up. <laughs> He'll get up. Hi, Judy. Hi, Lane. How are you? Hi. <laughs> I've seen her in your building. Yeah. I didn't know she was married. No, she's not. And the guy just took off. <laughs> Don't say anything to anybody. Who am I going to tell? I know. It's just something I have to say. <laughs>